Hello, my name is Veronica. I'm going to be your nurse today. Um, can you tell me why you're here? Um, yesterday I fell into my head and this morning I had a really bad headache and I was throwing up because I said I couldn't get over. Okay, well I'm going to take um, a short little focus assessment on like a neuro assessment since you did come in um, for from for a fall, okay, and you hit your head. Um, can you tell me what your name is? Emily Wilbanks. Okay, and what's your birthday, Emily? 72595. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to start off asking you just a few questions. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Have you ever had any um, neurological problems in the past? No. Any seizures? Okay. Have you ever had a stroke? No. Okay. Um, any kind of um, neuro infections like meningitis or anything like that? Um, what about emotional changes like depression or no? Okay. Um, high blood pressure? No. Diabetes? No. AFib? Anything with your heart? Any okay. Um, and what about your lifestyle? Do you um, are you active? Um, do you mostly just hang out and on the couch? Like what? Do, what do you? What's your typical? You know. I think I'm active two days. Two days a week. Okay. Um, and do you smoke? No. What about your diet? It's decent. I mean, for the most part, I'm pretty healthy. Okay, that's good. So, and you don't have any family history of neuro problems either, right? Okay. All right. Well, we're going to actually start with the actual assessment now. So, um, can you tell me what day it is? Monday, the 15th. Okay. Um, can you tell me where you are? The Hospital of Hancock. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to ask you to remember a few words, okay? And I'm going to have you repeat them now and I'm gonna come back and ask you again what they are, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, can you please repeat the words house, phone, and car? House, phone, car. Okay, just kind of hold those in your mind and I'll go back to you. Okay, now we're going to test out your attention and calculation. Can you spell, spell the word world backwards? D-L-R-O-W. Okay, now do you remember the three words I asked you to remember? Take your time. House. Car. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember the That's okay. That's okay. That's good. You remember two of them. That's good. Okay. Now I am actually going to check um, some of your cranial nerves. Um, the first one is going to be your optic nerve. Um, we're going to check for visual acuity. So. Um, just look straight at me and tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Five. Okay. And now we're going to check your, um, now we're going to check your visual fields. So I'm going to stand just right in front of you at the same height and we're going to close, we're both going to close the same eyes. Okay. So if you want to close your left eye, you can use your hand to just occlude it. Okay. Now I'm going to close the same eye on me. It's going to be my right eye and I'm going to, um, put fingers up in the different four quadrants and you're going to tell me what I'm holding up, okay? What number, okay? One, two, two, four. Okay, now we're going to do the other eye. So if you want to occlude the other eye, and I will do the same, and we're going to do the same thing, okay? Two, one, one, four. Good job. Okay, now that we did the visual fields, we are going to do the Snellen chart. Are you familiar with the Snellen chart? Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is a Snellen chart, and I'm going to have you read um, at this uh, red line right here. And after that, I'm going to have you read, try to read the, the line under it, which is smaller. And I'm going to have you uh, cover one eye each time with the, um, with the eye occluder, okay? So you can close your left eye first if you'd like. And if you would read that line. D-E-S-T-O-C-E-C. -E -E Good job. Now we're gonna try to go even smaller. L-E-F-O-O. -O -E That's okay. That's okay. I C T. Okay, good. Now we're gonna try it with the other eye now, okay? 
D E F P O T E C. Okay, now we're going to try for the next smaller one. L E T O O T C T. Good job. Okay. That you did really well. We're going to um, continue with our neuro assessment now, okay? Okay, now that um, we're done with the smelling, we're going to test for um, your extraocular muscles using uh, the cranial nerves three, four, and six, okay? I'm going to assess your pupils for size, shape, and e e quality, okay? So just look straight ahead of me, look at my nose. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to check for. Um, I'm going to do your uh, cover test to make sure that you don't have nice stings, okay? So if you can use the occluder to occlude one eye, you may take your glasses off if you'd like. Okay, I want you to cover one eye and look straight in my nose, okay? Now uncover your eye and cover the other one. Uncover it. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to do your uh, cardinal fields of, um, of gaze, okay? I want you to follow this pen light. It's not gonna be on, I just want you to follow it because I wanna see the way your eyes move, okay? Okay, that's good. Now, we are gonna do something else. We're done with your eyes. We're gonna do your um, trigeminal nerve, which is cranial nerve number five, and uh, we're gonna test for sensory um, function by touch and motor function and movement, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna ask you to um, identify sharp or dull, okay? This is sharp and this is dull. Okay, but I'm gonna have you close your eyes while I do it so you don't actually know what I'm doing, okay? So can you please close your eyes? Sharp on my forehead. Okay. Dull on my forehead. Dull on my left cheek. Sharp on my right cheek. Sharp on my left cheek. Sharp on my Okay, good job. Now, I am actually going to check um, your jaw for symmetry, okay? So if you please um, clench your jaw, not super hard, but just make sure it's clenched, okay? Okay, now I'm going to try to hold it together. So you are gonna try to open it against my force, okay? Okay, that's good. Now, we are gonna check for your um, facial mobility, okay? So can you raise your eyebrows for me? Can you close your eyes real tight? Okay, can you wrinkle your forehead? Can you frown, smile? Can you purse your lips? Can you puff out like a blowfish? All right, looks like everything is intact. And now we are going to check your gait, which means I'm gonna make sure that you are able to walk in a well bound. Okay, now what I'm gonna have you do is take a few steps forward and backwards um, doing a few different things, okay? So just uh, try to pay attention so we're you know on the same page here, okay? Um, can you take just a few steps forward like normal? Okay, back. Okay, now can you walk heel toe, heel toe? Okay, now back. Now, can you walk on your uh, tippy toes? Got some good calf muscles. What about your heels? Okay, and back. Now, do you wanna walk over here towards me, please? Just, is it just, just come on here. <laughs> okay, stay right here. What we're gonna do is called the Romberg test, and this is just to check uh, your balance. So I want you to stand just hands like this and close your eyes, and I just wanna make sure that you're not swaying, okay? 
Okay, you can open your eyes now. Now what we're gonna do is check your knee flexion. So just stand, you don't have to stand exactly close like that, just, you know, shoulder width apart. And um, put one knee like this, and now jump a few times. Okay, that's really good. Now we're going to go back to the table to do some um, superficial pain tests, okay? Okay, so since we're gonna do superficial pain, it's not gonna be very painful, but it is gonna uh, feel like a poke, okay? I'm gonna use a broken tongue blade, and I want you to tell me um, where you feel it, okay? And if you would please close your eyes for me. Now we are going to do light touch. Um, this is going to be a little harder to feel because it is with the cotton swab, okay? But kind of just focus and try to um, try to really feel it, okay? Um, close your eyes again for me, please. Left shoulder, left forearm, right forearm, fingertips, right knee, left knee. Okay. Good job. Now we are going to do something called vibration. I'm gonna use a tuning fork and I'm going to strike it on myself and then place it on uh, certain places on your body and you're gonna tell me if you can feel it or not. Um, you can lay down for this one. Okay, so I'm going to strike it first and then you can, um, you can uh, be comfortable and lay your legs down. There you go. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 All right. You did really well. Okay. And now the very last thing we're gonna do is um, your deep tendon reflexes. Since you're already laying down, I'm gonna go ahead and do your Achilles first, and then we can sit up and do that, okay? So, I'm gonna raise up your leg, and I'm gonna strike your Achilles, okay? Okay, now we're gonna do the other one. Okay, now, okay, now we're going to sit up, and I'm gonna help you dangle. Okay, and now we're going to start off um, doing your bicep um, deep tendon reflex, okay? You want to hold on to my arm here? Now, I'm going to be pressing down on your tendon here, and I will be striking my hand, my finger, not you, okay? So it should not hurt. If at any time you feel uncomfortable, let me know and I'll stop, okay? Okay. Okay, now we're going to do your tricep. Okay. And now we're going to do your patellar. Okay. It looks like we are actually done. Um, the doctor should be in shortly. You know, um, um, everything came out good, uh, but he will come in and talk to you. Okay. Okay. So the patient appears at um, the right stated age. Uh, the facial features, movements, and uh, body are symmetrical. Um, she's dressed appropriately, appropriately for her age. Um, she's dressed appropriately for the weather. Um, she's well groomed. No odors noted. Uh, skin color wasn't even, and um, no pigmentation or anything like that. Um, no obvious lesions or variations, even though she did, said she did fall. Um, hair was smooth, um, thick and evenly distributed. Um, uh, her diagnosis will be acute confusion. Um, the char characteristics are uh, fluctuation in cognition. Um, she couldn't recall a few things. Um, she didn't know the date. She, um, uh, let me see. She did, um, she did not seem agitated or restless. It's really just her memory.